by the end of this video you should be able to make something like this hello everybody and welcome to this channel once again thanks so much for clicking on this video so if you're new here kindly hit on the subscribe button to subscribe if you're old here thanks so much for coming back again so in this video we're going to look at how to make an advertisement restaurant flyer using photoshop so let's get into the video all right so i'm going to use the size a4 so you go to file a new and then you create another international paper you're going to select a4 and then you're going to click ok when you're done now you're going to image and rotation, that is image rotation, and we're going to rotate it either 90 degree clockwise or anti-clockwise. So we have this, and this is what we're going to fill with all the info that we have. Okay, so I've got a, a couple of images over here that I'm going to use. This is the particular image, first one that I'm going to use. So what that I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it inside Photoshop, and then I'm going to paste it on here like this. So I'll try and make this one up here like this I want I want it around this area and I'm going to rasterize it rasterize layer next I'm going to select the rectangle tool and I'll draw a rectangle a nice one like that and then I'm going to place it over here next I'm going to select or open the color palette over here and I'm going to choose a color around this area something good looking like that so you can Take your time to maybe position this one over here. I'm going to make a duplicate of the rectangle again and then select the one beneath it. And I'm going to change the color to something yellowish like this. So afterwards, I'll use the arrow key to press it over here so that I have the stroke, like a stroke around the main rectangle. So this is simple. So next, I'm going to add a test to it, but then I would like to bring this particular two rectangles down a little bit let's say something like this right and then i'm going to reposition this particular uh image right over here i like it over here so let's go ahead and add a test so i'm going to type in um a charm and then i'm going to open the blending options and add a few shadow to it so something like that very simple and then i'll position it right over here so i'll make a duplicate of it and then edit that one to to restaurant as you can see i'm just pacing it up i just type in space it up so I'm going to remove the effect from this one and then I'm going to select it and change the color to black. Okay, so I don't want the effect, so I'll just drop off the effect and then I'll post it over here. Nicely built like that. Next, I'm going to add a, um, something like a rounded rectangle excuse my mouse so a rounded rectangle over here and then I'm going to repeat the name of the restaurant so uh, this time around I'm going to make use of Acrobat one of my favorite fonts so I'm going to type in a charm and this time around I'm not going to space it out and I'm going to type it together so a charm restaurant and I'm going to use the extra bold and the color has to be the same color as that of the background for the rectangle so over here you can select it all and choose center alignment right so i bring it over here and then you can open it up a little bit so it looks cute over there now what i'm going to do next is a charma restaurant what actually do you do over there so i'm going to edit this test and I'm going to type in something real quick. So this is what I have over here. And then I'll try to tweak this um, test and I'll change the font to something like uh, Messenger Pigeons. Okay, 
So I have this over here, very simple, and I'll bring it right here. Next, I'm going to add a rectangle to, or let's say a rectangle, a slight one, excuse my mouse, over here. And then I'm going to type in um, location. So I'm going to type in location and the font would have to be Acrobat and the type will be bold and the color has to be the background so that it will be dynamic, right? So next I'm going to try to change this one to a little bit extra bold so that it has to be very bold and then I'll try to transform it a little more. Now I'm going to make a duplicate of the location test. So basically it's just a duplicate and edit test. So we edit this one to white and then we're going to change it to bold and we're going to add a location. So it is located at offense so uh, it has to be left aligned. Okay, so it is located at Offenso um, near or uh, Offenso near town. So you can see it is too big. So I'll select all the three and try to position them over here and try to transform it down so that it will fit to that particular area. Because that's where I've apportioned it to. So inside the market. So offense new town inside the market. And then we can select this theory and duplicate it. Bring it down over here. And then I'm going to edit this to contact. So we are going to edit this to you can reach here on. Okay, so after we are done with this. We can go ahead and go back to a couple of things over here. We can select this particular image, press Ctrl U, and then add some saturation to it to so make it more brighter. And then press Ctrl L to adjust the levels. So, oh, like this, so that it will be very bright. Now, the interesting part is if you want to twerk this around, like if you want to replace the image or the background with a different one but you have to maintain you want to maintain the same design all you have to do is go to file and then place and then you can place a different so let me place let's say this particular um, image over here so you rasterize it and then you press ctrl t to transform it to fit maybe you would have to adjust your test or something like that and the last one you can place this particular one so basically you can do three different designs with the same format with three different pictures at the same time so if you don't need this one all you have to do is turn off the layer so you turn this one off and you turn this one off and you have the main layer that we did so this is the final output of what we did today let me know in the comment section if this was helpful and if you're going to try it out thank you so much for watching this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll get back to you with another tutorial innocent here bye